This guy's flicking in and out, but he's got excellent connection. That's Castle. He's got excellent connection, so what is the problem? And with a rapid play game, they get a lot of time as well. I don't know if his time's going down or not. It keeps flicking out and then coming back and playing. Hmm. Let's bring the bishop here. Good, good connection, low lag. All right. So it's not excellent anymore. Is it a double whammy? No, it's not. Okay, let's go here. Oh, he's got special skills. That's why he was flicking backwards and forwards. Ah. Right, okay. Let's see if his signal goes off anymore now after this. Look how long he's taking to make the move of capturing the queen, which is a kind of an obvious move. <laughs> and the bishop now should be taken straight away, but he's not going to take it straight away. Wow, look how long they're taking to make the obvious move. Right, so we're in trouble here. We're going to have to just... Um, uh, so quickly he comes out here now. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, enough. Well, I feel like resigning. Right, <clears throat> what do you do? What do you do? You're just fearful of making any move now. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. Going to just have to be defensive. Maybe try and stop the bishop from coming to attack the knight, but it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. This is funny. So we could push up or just go on to dark squares with all these pawns here. I'm going to go on to dark square with this one, but I'm not going to trap him. Or the move there he takes. Yeah. If we leave the pawn, then we get the Fisher Spassky or not. Yeah, we can go like that. So shall we leave it and see if they do go for the Fisher Spassky? So if we attack the bishop... Bishop comes down, we attack, well, we block it in. And then the bishop takes all the pawns, so he gets, gets like two pawns for the bishop. They might want to be playing it that way. Seen as the... Okay, let's hit the bishop. Okay, we'll take the bishop off the board. They haven't done that. And so he's now got the center pawns here. Looking to ramp down. Obviously, we'll be looking to go here, but then he can just do that. We lose tempo, but we can attack this pawn at some point. Or we could just move this here, and then he has to support the pawn. Going to move the bishop here first, because the rook is on this pawn. So he has to do something to defend the pawn. If he does that, then this pawn goes. Nope. Okay, too clever for me. So obviously if we go here, he just pushes down. If we go here, he hits us again. So we might as well come back. So he's pushed the pawn and the rook can take. Are we falling for anything? Has he got a fork on us with his knight? I'm going to take, I don't know. They might be just setting us up with this one. Let's take it anyway, because it doesn't look like it's got any support. And knight's protecting here at the moment. I'm going to push on to the knight because the knight's protecting this pawn. But he's obviously just going to block maybe. We can still push. Uh, da, da, da. So if we went here, he'd just take. So if we push this pawn to support here and maybe... It's a long, drawn-out process. Push the pawn, maybe he pushes down and we don't really get to attack the knight. So his connection went from X, yeah, he's not wanting to get this taken, is he, at all? Okay, going to hit the knight with, and the pawn. 
So we're going to have a bit of an issue with these pawns here. We need to be careful. Maybe the knight comes to attack the rook now. Let's not attack the rook. Uh, what is my bishop doing? <clears throat> We push this, but then he just goes back again, doesn't he? But that's a nice position for the pawn. I don't think it's going to last there too long, though. Let's get the bishop out of here. It does have a check on the king, but that's obviously not going to happen. I'm going to bring the bishop out. He's looking to champion these. Very worrying. What's this? So he's protecting the square. Has he got a fork? I mean, could still go and attack the king. Rook takes. Then we've got these bothersome pawns here. But we do have a pawn advantage on this side. So I'm going to put the check on. Going to take highly advanced pawns up here, and he's got the extra one. I don't think we're going to do it. Ah, oh, he's off. He's off. Right. So take. So this rook's going to be coming round the side here, isn't it? Sorry. Coming here to here. We might have to play defence again. Well, we're playing defence already. Or does he go with the rook? I bet he takes with the rook, doesn't he? But then if he takes with the rook, we take... Oh, then his rook does get to here. Hold on. Takes with the rook. We take. His pawn comes here. We do have time to get round the side. Well, in front of the pawn. Or behind the pawn. So I think he's going to take with the pawn, yep. So we could challenge it. Is that, I think that's probably better, isn't it? Keeping it as simple as possible. If we challenge it, he moves down, we challenge it. He's, I don't think he's fast enough to get the other rook to support, unless, of course, I'm wrong. Oh, uh, what's happening? Let's double up. Let's go here. We do have a check, check, getting the rook off. So he's going to move his king out of the way. So we take, take, come back down, defend the pawn. So let's go with that check. He might not do anything. Let's, yeah, get the check. And it's basically, it looks like a drawish thing to me now. Let's just come back down here now. All right. So, just move the pawn maybe. And then he does that. And then we could, there's no more movements here. We move this pawn. And then it does the same thing there. Yeah, that's just going to be... Let's do that. And he does that. Then he's going to push that so that he's equal when in fact he'll be further down the board. So we could do this. Could we? Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, he's done it before us. So we could hit his rook. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. But then his rook comes here. So we won't do that. So I could go in front of the pawn. I'm going to bring the king up. Then his king comes down. Yes. Could bring the rook up just to 
do in fact no I could bring it up to there but then it's just going to come down so there's no point Yeah, well, kings come down either way. So we could hit the pawn. Rook can't come down to hit our king, but the pawn can push down, but then we can take. Or I can just ignore, but either way, we'll just get the pawn off the board. So we go here. It doesn't have to take, that's the thing. I don't know if there's anything great with him not taking. And see, he does take, and then we take, then the rook comes across, got to check on our king. Move the king across. Don't want to get it trapped though, do we? So we come down here. Let's hit the pawn. Let's take. Yep. And come across or come down. Which one? Which one? Come across. You can't put another check on us anyway. So he may just move his king across. He's probably looking to get our rook off the board because if we go here, it's still not close enough anyway, is he? We come round. Stay up. Let's stay up for now. See how far long we can stay in the middle of the board with the king and this is coming across or down whichever way um, almost got his rook almost he's got that almost So if we're moving across, then he's coming down. So if we move down, don't really want to move down, do we? But he can still come and attack. Move the rook across. Move it down, he comes across. Right, which is the better move? Moving the king towards these pawns? Or oh, moving the rook around the back? That's going to take too long. Because then he's just going to go one. Yeah, that's no good. But don't, don't, don't push your rook around the back. Just keep defending this pawn. Okay, let's come here. And when he does go here, or he might just move his king because he wants his king to get across as well. Choices. Oh, disconnecting again. We'll stay disconnected forever. I think that's happening, obviously. So uh, let's crack on. Come on, crack on. <clears throat> Getting a bit cold. Disconnected again. Come on, auto resign him or something. Just 
three years abandoned the game. Let's crack on. I need to get some practice in. So he'll make his move now. As we know, that's the what we see. Disconnects and then makes a move. It's a very strange setup. There we go. Look at that. It's a very strange setup indeed. So I think if we just continue coming across. And he's going to inch across and inch across. Hmm. What's the benefits? Do we end up getting some sort of bad rhythm? So it could go up here. But what what is the we could go up? King comes across. We come down. Then he can put a check in. Come in. And our king's backward, isn't it, really? And his king's going to be forward. I don't like the look of this. We go up. King comes to support. No, he's not going to do that, though, is he? Because the rook will do that. So if we go up, his king comes down. Well, why is it going to go down? It's not coming here. Let's go here. No, it's gone across. So we could put the check on. And this time, oh no, he'll come for our rook. But our king is closer to their pawns if they did do that. So I'm going to put the check on. The move dead quick then. So Oh, he's defending the rook. But we could just attack. So then he has to take. And then we win the pawns here, don't we? Fantastic.